Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at how we calculate the mode from a stem and leaf diagram. And really, finding the mode is quite straightforward. You just need to know what you're looking for. Now you should remember that the mode is the most common number to appear. So we're going to look at two examples in this. So with this first example, what you might be looking at is you're thinking, well, okay, I'm looking for the most common number. And you might think to yourself that, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 comes up 6 times, uh, 8 comes up 5 times, and really you're looking at this in the wrong way. Because if you think 9 is the mode, then we're not correct here. We're not reading from the stem and leaf diagram correctly. So remember that 4, 8 means 48. So in actual fact, we've got 48, 48, 48. So we've actually got three 48s there. And then we've got things like 78, 78, 79, 79. So what you're doing is you're trying to find a row of the same numbers, we've got two eights there, two nines there, but we've got three eights there, so 48 appears most often. So 48 is the number that we're looking for, that is the mode. And make sure that it's 48 based on the key, because if this had said 7 line 8 means 7.8, then this would be 4.8. So, in this second example, now, now we know what we're looking for, we're looking for a line of the same number. So we've got two ones there, two twos, then we've got three threes, two nines down here. So we've got the threes, three threes in a row, so twelve, three, so one, two, three, must be the mode. But the key says that thirteen eight means thirteen point eight. So this is 12.3, okay? So notice how the key also tells you what you need to know about what you're going to write down as your answer. So make sure that you've read that very carefully, okay? So 48 was the mode for the first example, while 12.3 was the mode for the second.